Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the Chameleon Craft server. First of all, I'm going to start how I start most episodes, saying something really random, but uh, sorry for not doing an episode on these really loud on, um, jeez, these guys are loud on Friday. It's because on the Saturday when I recorded all the episodes for the week, um, I spent a lot of time rendering the last episode because it just kept failing, so I had to go back and render it go back and render it again and I just didn't have enough time to actually record um, anything but on the Sunday I should have recorded this really but uh, this is kind of what was made uh, this was being made by uh, I believe it was craft file and uh, who was it who was it I think it's stealthy meerkat as well they were making this um, and they made the entire of this room they made the um, all this up here but they were struggling with redstone a bit and then Andre came over to try and fix it and then he didn't do it and then so I came over and pretty much finished off the job so I didn't follow a tutorial exactly with this but I found a, um, a photo online of just one kind of cell of redstone so these things here and I just copied that all the way up and kind of went for my own design slightly uh, this thing's actually pretty efficient considering how small it is I mean this hasn't even got to world height but I'll go down here and show you what it's like so we have uh, 11 spawning spots so these ones here they can, they can spawn on brush plates 11 of those and there's 11 to each side and there's one two three four five six seven eight all together so that's a lot that's a freaking load oh god I don't actually know they can't teleport up but it's fine so uh, what they do is when they stand on these pressure plates you'll see it will send a signal to this repeater to this person torch which is inverting this one then that will turn that one on and then the same with the redstone dust, dust. And the reason it is um, it's changed uh, from repeaters to dust, repeater dust, etc., etc., et cetera, et cetera uh, it alternates. It's just literally to save on resources. If it was all redstone du dust, it wouldn't work. It'll just connect. It would work if it was all repeaters, but you kind of want to save uh, save on resources really. But there are freaking loads. There's there's 88 spawning spots in this whole thing, which is insane. Um, they won't spawn when I'm up here, but they'll spawn when I'm down there. Um, I also, this isn't a conventional conventional thing to do, is put water over it, but I didn't really think, I couldn't think of any other way to stop them spawning on top, because um, I could have put pressure plates up there, but, um, you know, they can teleport to it, so they would fall down, get punched, or hurt themselves and teleport back up, so there is no place around here where they can teleport to, which is really awesome, which makes this place really efficient. Um, but I, I'm over here right now because I want some levels, uh, because so I want to enchant a spade because I want to do a project today. Today's project will be... Uh, actually, no, you know, I'll tell you later. But I just need a really quick, really, really quick shovel. And I don't have any wood. Please set this wood in here. Yes, there's some sticks. So I'm going to make a shovel quickly and whip out some lapis. Make one. Might as well do this all on camera. Yeah, I've got a few diamonds as well. I'm actually kind of slacking on, lacking on uh, diamonds quite a bit. Uh, if you look... Compared to my and I, to be honest, emeralds I'm doing bloody good in. But let's, uh, let's do this. We you can't really get anything bad on shovels. I just really want efficiency. I'm breaking. I've got to get efficiency on this. There's no way I can't. What the hell? Okay, I'm screw that. No, you know what? I'm gonna do another one. It's only one diamond. So what? Let's do this again. I really can't be bothered to do books either. I just want to get this thing done instantly. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, that's an upgrade. Sure, I'll take that. I'll just pop this one back in. Uh, another bit of news on the server as well. Andrew and I will soon be reviewing some new members. We're not going to do it at the moment because we are actually quite busy. Uh, with a lot of things, college and actually FIFA 15 came out. It sounds quite sad, but I play that a lot on Xbox. Um, so, And I really enjoy it at the moment. So if there's a lack of videos and I'm not sticking to the schedule, it's with college work and FIFA, basically. <laughs> uh, which is not a very good excuse, but I'm going to head back now. Actually, what I'll do is... Whoa, whoa. You know what, I'll get back there a quick quick. Because I want to show you, I think it's Katz so who's been doing this, Nate. He's actually been doing a lot of work to the um, to the spawn uh, over there. Oh god, please hit. And it should... It's actually... It doesn't matter if we die at the moment, because for some reason... I don't know what the reason is for it, but Andrew... Oh god. 
He turn turn inventory on. I uh, keep inventory on. So when we die, we actually oh come on. Okay. When we die, we actually don't lose anything. Um, I haven't actually tested that yet. A lot of people have been saying it has been working. So I don't know if they're trolling me or not. Uh, if it's a troll, then it's a very good troll. Because I do believe you. But, um... This is, uh, Ender Pearls, I've actually missed using these. Since I've, if any of you know... Uh, it have been around on my channel for about a year or two. I used to play on a survival server. Um, and they had an Enderman farm. And they just had chests upon chests of Ender Pearls. And I love using them. So this is the little base that Nate's been use making. It does remind me of the Ender... Uh, the Nether portal hub area. Because it's kind of quite natural. And things like that. Um, the only problem is with this massive obsidian thing in the middle, if you put anything on there, every time someone comes through it deletes the block, which kind of sucks. Um, but I'm thinking maybe I might do some work over here one day in the future, put, putting a, like a track or something. Because this is a long way, I mean you can end pearl there, but it damages all your armour. Uh, so, almost, oh wow, we did that in pretty much one go. Yeah, I made this pyramid thing as well, ages ago. So what I'm going to do is get to my base and, oh. Okay, I, I completely forgot that. I, I might as well just tell you it now. This is going to be a really lazy edi uh, editing video for me. Because usually I'm cutting stuff constantly. But to... Excuse me, sir. Sir, are you aggro on me or... Ah, you're after... Ow. Yes, you are. You're after my villager. Yes, I have a villager hidden, hidden in my base somewhere. Ow, dude. Ooh. Jen Leggins. So basically today's project is... Uh, so I've forgotten who suggested this to me. I think it was Dan. He suggested that I should link this to the river down there somehow. And then he also suggested something about connecting this river to spawn. Um, and I think that's going to be quite a quite a fun um, little task to do as well. It might be a bit challenging too um, because of all the terrain. Um, but I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to connect this river to there. Um, I'm going to cut in a minute because I think I'm going to have to think of how to do this. Because I don't really want to go straight across. Because I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to have bridges all over my base if I do that. But yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little cut, have a little think of how I'm gonna do things, and then I will be back with you in a second. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with this. It's it looks actually kind of all right. It does look a bit fake. Um, I tried to put like a little bend in it to make it look a bit more natural. Uh, I've added these temporary bridges in. For the time being. I'll probably make them spruce in the future. But this is the waterfall I kind of came up with. I literally just spammed and looked down. Because I've got like high efficiency picks. And actually from over here. That actually looks really nice. I'm not so sure about this anymore. I know that's natural. But it doesn't look very good. I don't know why I'm docking while punching. But this looks kind of quite nice. I like the way it's. Oh wow I've got a depth strider. Um, I like the way it kind of cuts into the landscape rather than sitting kind of rather than going outside it kind of goes into the lands landscape if that makes any sense uh, this isn't all naturally flowing there are um, some source blocks for example down here that I keep having to add in for some reason oh, I'm trying to make it a bit more even but I think this looks actually quite nice it does look quite good um, I I'll probably have to do like tiny tweaks this is one of those things where you literally have to it's like one block could make a difference. So you go in there, place a block, look back. If it's bad, go in and place another block, etc. Um, I don't know what blocks to use, though. I'd probably just replace all this with smooth stone to make it look uh, a bit neater. But what I'm going to do now, I think, is have a look and see if I can actually... Um, you know what? I'm going to cut this water out because I don't like this being here. See if I can um, make a river from here to spawn. Because it's not too far. It's really not too far at all, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to go to spawn and have a look where I could possibly do it. Um, so I'll see you in two seconds. Hmm. Hmm. Someone's been tampering with my giant melon. Who dare they? Who who even dares do that to me? Let's actually see how many... Oh, my... Holy... Holy crap, that's a lot of melons. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, I really need to add another hopper on top of that because they're just going to kind of sit on that hopper and despawn, aren't they? This thing's churning out a lot because I, th I think it's spawn in such a high traffic area. Um, a lot of people 
come by here and then this thing starts running but this thing's working really well and apparently it's been going down quite well you've got quite a few views actually on my channel which i'm very happy about um oh this is new oh my god is this gonna be an endstone shop i guarantee you this is an endstone shop stealthy's endermart free free ah oh. oh hmm there was probably a villager there, but it's pretty dark. That's pretty sweet. Actually, what you could do is, because you can um, you can transport things through the portal in the end, um, and they'll spawn here. And if he were to do that, he could have a hopper somewhere, and it could lead straight into there. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, I've found somewhere I want to build my little boat dock. I've actually had an idea, which I think would work, but will um, require a bit of work. It would, it would look nice, but it would require work. There we go. So this is where I'm thinking of having like a dock. Maybe. So this is going to go back a bit like this. And it's going to be kind of made out of dark wood, I think. Things like that. And it'll, it'll probably... I'll label it something like Juicy's Canal or something really cheesy like that. But this is literally... There's, there's no need for this because I can pretty much run it. Um, run from here to my base in a couple of seconds. In fact, I can end pole there quicker. But I just think it's something nice to have. Like a little addition. And it'll most probably come out the back of this mountain here. Go a few... few a few go few go through i can't speak so go through here get to here and then i have no idea what that is so i think someone dug into that anyway and then probably come round here and then this is where the idea this is where the good idea happened this is this is it i was thinking oh my god i cannot speak today i was thinking in there having pretty much the same design as over there in there but then having some kind of boat dispenser thing ow sir sir Sir, thank you. This is a dark. I need to light this up. So what I was thinking of doing is kind of having the same style as my house as well in that area. And this plate, this is going to look so cool. If I do it right, this is going to look really nice. Um, so what I'm going to do first, I think, is make a start on this one. And then make the river and then make a start on the place over there. But first, what I need to do is actually see if I've got enough wood. Because I want to make it out of dark wood. I think dark wood just looks amazing, to be honest. And it's the easiest one to get to. And damn it, I don't have any, but I have a load of saplings, dark oak saplings and spruce saplings. So I will see you when I'm stocked up on wood. I give you about hmm five seconds to guess where we are. Can you tell? Two seconds left. Can you tell? Ah, it was a trick question because this is brand new. I got carried away slightly. This is a little boat dock I made in the mountain with a little staircase going up to here, which actually works out quite nicely. So uh, I didn't do anything else with this. In the end, I um. Ended up making the river over there, which I'm not going to actually show you yet, and the other boat dock. So, I haven't used it yet, and there is a bit I'm worried about that won't actually work. So, let's whip out a boat, and uh, let's go. Okay, so this works fine. This is all good. It's all good so far. Now, this is the bit I'm worried about because of the flowing water. Ugh. Come on. No. Oh, god. Okay, we're gonna try run up. Come on, run up, run up. Why I'm lagging all over the place? Come on. Okay, so that doesn't work very well. Um, let's try and get a few more boats out. I think it's because of the flowing water that's flowing in that direction. So if I do that, I should fix it. I don't know why this isn't working because it should work. I've I've done something like this before and it has worked. I really don't know why it's not working. Maybe I'll have to make one of those fancy boat elevator things. Uh, I really don't know. Actually, why not? We're here now. We might as well do this. So let's get out. Let's get some wood. Let's make some um, some signs because I think this is the answer. Doing this. You have, to sh you have to hold shift to do this now, which is weird. I think that will fix it. I'm not too sure, though. Let's try and get some more water and put it there 
Okay, so this should do it. This should do it. This should do it. So I don't like that. They've had this new boat update thing for ages, the way boats act. And I don't like it because it used to be able to just use your mouse, but now you've got to use your keys. and it's So that should work. Yes. Oh, my God. That actually worked really smoothly. So then it goes into this little area over here. So we'll slow it down. And boom. Oh. So that works really well, actually. I kind of like that. Um, I, w I wanted to keep this the same style as, um, as my bit over there because... Um, then you kind of they're kind of you know linked in a way um so that i can just add some fence posts and damn it that's not equal is it damn it you know what screw it i'll just uh let's put some here like that so i'm pretty sure that actually rounds off today's episode um because it's pretty short i think but i got something done and i've got an episode out which is important because i missed out the last one um this is pretty much it. I kind of like this, actually. I like the way it cuts through the mountain. And actually, let's test it going the other way. I haven't done that yet. Let's put boat down. So, actually, let's have a little practice. Because I'll be using this quite a bit on turning boats. How can I just... Can I literally just stop and go the other way? Also, there's a, there's a ground on this one, but not on that one. That bit there. And I might do that at a later point. So, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. This should be fine. This should be absolutely fine. There should be no problem here at all. Just go down. Yes, straight into this river, and then there's going to be a really sharp corner, which I'm going to use my mouse for. I think that's the way you're meant to do it. Ah, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, the, it's the mouse keys as well. It's the freaking keys as well. So then we can just get out of this, and then shoot it. Boosh. And then pop the boat in there, and then we're done. So that's actually, that's quite a productive episode. I enjoyed that. Made a little river. Made a little boat dock. Made two boat docks. And... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, leave a little like down below. It really, really helps. Um, makes me know that you're loving the episodes and I'll do more. So thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, click the like button. And if you want more, click subscribe so you never miss an episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>